Well, guess what? All my stereo gear showed up. This is Steve again from the All Wheels Down channel. Now we're going to check out the things I ordered from Crutchfield. I hope it all works out. We're going to see right now. UPS brought all the things I ordered from Crutchfield. The speakers came in much bigger boxes than I thought. For a minute, I thought maybe they sent me the Model 5s by mistake, but no such luck. The KLH Model 3s were in the packages as advertised, and they triple box these things. There's an outer box, and then the actual company box is double box. So it's like three levels of protection. And uh, I really like the fact that the box was heavy because that's always good when speakers are heavy. So we wrestled them around here in the living room and we got them all in box. And each part of it was like wrapped in a quasi cloth wrapping, not just like that cheap staticky foam. I really like that. It, it just exuded quality. And these speakers are so nice and heavy. I just, I just knew they were going to sound good. So we got them all out at one at a time. We got the receiver out. Check that out. We got the node out and everything came perfectly. I'm very happy with how the stuff was shipped like in a day's time. That's really fast. So we got it all out and it was like Christmas morning for me. Well, actually it is sort of like Christmas morning because this will be my Christmas and birthday gift. Here you see I have it all set up. Unfortunately, I don't have like a nice stereo credenza or console or anything. We've just got this dumb electric fireplace that the TV's on, but I'm going to work on changing that. I want it to look like some of the ones in the magazines with the low little console there where everything's on so cool. I'm still resisting the urge to get a turntable. I did subscribe to Amazon Music because they do have the uh, FLAC files, the 24 by 96 or whatever kilohertz that is. I'm not sure about all that. But I know I like the sound of these speakers. Could I have used the KLH Model 5s? I sure could have. They, they would have been better, but I'm working on a budget. I did see in the comments some people noted that I could have spent my money a little more wisely for the uh, streamer. What is it called? The Weem or the Wim? W-I-I-M streamers. I guess they're a good value. But I just thought with the, the Blue Sound software, I'd be better off going with the Blue Sound node. And so far, I'm really liking it. Uh, the display on the top is sort of ridiculous. I, you know, it's just like the presets and sort of buttons there, but it's not marked. So you kind of have to remember what each thing is using your phone. You don't really need that anyway. So it is what it is, but the software worked pretty good. I tried the Apple music, but you, you operate that from the app on your phone. So I'm not sure if that's actually coming through lossless or not. That's why I wanted to get the uh, Amazon music. If any of you know if the Apple Music actually plays through a system like the Node with the lossless format, uh, let me know because I'd be interested in that. I may not keep the Amazon Music subscription. Now here in a minute, we're going to have some sound samples. I will say if you're looking to blast heavy rock music all the time, this probably isn't the best setup. You know, it does sound good. I can't really fault it. It's just it doesn't have that big, big sound. It has plenty of bass. Here lately, I like listening to soft jazz and calmer music. Because it's, it's more interesting. I mean, how many times can you listen to Hotel California until you're ready, ready to throw up? Um, don't get me wrong. I like the song Hotel California. But I've been listening to it for 40-some years. So I've, I'm about done with it. <laughs> I like classic rock. And so, you know, give me some ZZ Top. And these things will rock it. Just maybe not as good as Eclipse Heresies. I'm very happy with my setup. I'm going to have some sound samples here, as I may have already said. Now, I was streaming these sound samples from YouTube, some royalty-free music they have on there. If it doesn't sound the best, part of it is because it's the compressed music from YouTube. I don't have any good copyright-free music that I could play in a lossless or a black digital high-quality format. So you have to bear with that. But it, it might give you some idea of what you can expect when you get these speakers. And now I'm going to demonstrate the speakers with some sound samples here. Of course, it's hard to relate through your computer and your speakers. But I always like to see these, so I thought I'd put one on too. There's no sub connected. It's just the speakers.
So I appreciate any and all comments you make, criticisms even. I'm not so uh, thin-skinned that I can't take some criticism. I'm probably going to go with this equipment for a while since I've blown all my money. I may actually get a little subwoofer to go with these, but nothing too big. My room is sort of odd-shaped. You know, I'm willing to experiment with a little sub. I can adjust the volume with the Cambridge Audio Receiver with the nice remote, so I'm liking that. And I also found if I use these headphones, these are these Sony ones you oftentimes see. These sell for about 100 bucks, and I've had these for a while. But if you plug these straight into the Blue Sound Power Node, it really, really gives you the full experience because I, don't, I have some Bluetooth headphones, but I don't think they actually carry the full bandwidth over like the wired headphones do. I appreciate you coming back to check out what I got, and maybe I'll do some more reviews on some of the individual components of this. I do appreciate you tuning in. If you hit that like button and maybe think about subscribing, it sure would help me out quite a bit. I'm not monetized on this channel, and I certainly don't get any sponsorships from any of the uh, gear companies or from Crutchfield. So... This was all on my dime. And uh, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And remember, keep all wheels down. Uh, so, um, and uh, so, and uh, so, and uh, so. A lot of and and so, uh, so's in here.